My name is Tony Galati, and I graduated from Desert Christian Academy in the class of 2013. Desert Christian prepared me a lot better than I feel like any other school could have spiritually, academically, and socially. I was sitting in physics class, and my phone started to ring. So I stepped outside of class, answered the phone, and he goes, Anthony, are you standing at attention? I was like, well, sir, I can be if you like. He's like, stand at attention. And he said, I'd like to let you know that you just got accepted to West Point. And at that time, like, I couldn't like say anything besides like, thank you. I had hair down to my shoulders, so I kind of didn't really fit in. So you go into this building, it's called Eisenhower Hall. And they walk through the door and they started yelling at you right away. And from then on, six weeks, it was pretty rough. But uh, after that, it was definitely worth it. As that day was more mental than anything. It was definitely just a very big mental challenge, getting ready to like, say hello to this new world and goodbye to your old one. Spiritually, you know, the Army, sometimes it's a really hard place to be spiritual. So spiritually, it's definitely Desert Christian got me ready to be a spiritual person at West Point. Desert Christian was like an amazing experience. I take just as much or more pride saying I went to Desert Christian because of I know the incredible people who went there and the incredible people who teach there. Being a part of that is pretty cool. I loved it here. I loved every second of it. And even when things would get tough because I have a test the next day, I still loved it. It was just an amazing experience. My name is Brad Jacobson, and I graduated from Desert Christian Academy in 2007. The inspiration that I found in the faculty here and the students here, serving God has definitely been the foundation for my life and my career. But it was really from Desert Christian Academy as a South Africa mission trip that helped guide me in the direction that I am now. And they always say this about mission trips, that the person that's on the trip is actually more changed by it. And I think for me, that really just set a catalyst in my life to pursue international medicine. It was always in the back of my head. I just never thought I could get into med school until that trip. And I said, this is so cool. This is what I want to dedicate my life to. And it aligned with my other passion, which was traveling. It's a cool specialty because you can practically teach someone how to use their hands to heal someone else, which is something I think is absolutely incredible to be able to uh, physically heal someone with your hands. My name is Heather Dean Penny, and I graduated from Desert Christian Academy in 1988. This is what DCA did for me. It taught me how to go in front of a board to set up a regulation that girls got to wear pants because we wore dresses every day. And it was a small area, but it was big for me as a kid. And I'll always be grateful to DCA for giving me that start. What an empowerment for a 17-year-old girl. It allowed me to grow strengths in a variety of areas that honestly I don't think I would have gotten in a larger school. I had teachers and coaches just reaching in and saying, I'd love for you to try out. And I thought, all right, I'll try softball pitching. You know, if you believe in me, then I guess I can at least show up. So I did that and ended up being a CIF champion and all of these amazing things. But I have to share the credit with the coaches. It was that kind of um, intentionality that clearly I would not have gotten from any other school. You either try out and make the team or you don't make the team. You don't have a coach coming to recruit you. It's ironic that I'm a coach today. You know, I, even though I don't coach sports, I'm coaching coach of people developing their life skills and their heart. I did start saying, my mission statement for my life is going to be contributing to the well-being of others and helping them reach their God-given potential. It's okay. It's because you're really unique. I think that started at DCA, and I feel very blessed. My name is Ari Tidwell. I graduated from Desert Christian Academy 2008. Around that time, I got in introduced to the chapel that they do uh, during the week and just fell in love with it and decided to stay, and it was the best decision ever. You are more than my words could say. I don't even think I'm a professional, but I think people like say you're professional when you start making money <laughs> doing something, you know, a passion or anything that you pursue as a you know, career. But you know, I had some pretty big opportunities, honestly, to go on like a pretty big major tour. And it was right around the same time that we got married. And I, it was a hard decision, but I totally turned it down because, and I'm not bragging on me at all. I just have an incredible wife and we have a, a big vision of just being full-time parents. And that's why I do what I do is just for my family. I just believe DCA, Desert Christian Academy is just incredible. 
Uh, the teachers are amazing, the students are awesome, um, because I know they, they carefully handpick who's coming in. Not everyone's just coming into the school, and uh, for that reason, it's awesome association, and it really plays a huge role in your life going out of school.